Hello everybody and welcome to my tutorial for Towns version 0.8. The reason I'm doing my tutorial on 0.8 is because I think the game won't change that dramatically anymore and if it does I'll just cover it in a video. Alright, in these tutorials I'll teach you all of the basics, how to survive the first few days, how to plan your town and set up your production line so you'll never run out of goods. So, with that done, let's start this tutorial. So I'll first go to my people, you're right here, oh, before I forget, let's first hit escape, go to options, go to graphics, oh no, not graphics, go to game, and put this on on, newly built stockpiles, containers have items disabled by default, you want this on or you're gonna be clicking like hell, so just do this, uh, pause the game when it starts, should be on, and okay that should be good now let's play this game good first thing you want to do in this game is explore you want to explore your your surroundings and <laughs> i guess i had a very good spawn because i have a lot of place right here i never had that always these mountains like this these mountains just just get in the way for your buildings. Alright, so if you want to change levels you do that with a scroll, but let's keep it like this for now. So the first thing you want to do is, uh, is look for a good spot where you have enough space to put all your buildings. So what you want to do is start cutting these. And the game is still paused. So I'm just gonna start cutting these. Not too much because these trees are evil. If you cut too much they're gonna start attacking you too. So you don't want that. Especially not in the beginning. So you don't want to lose your citizens. It's fairly important you keep all your citizens in the beginning. I'm gonna just destroy this mushroom bush. Don't know what that does yet. Maybe they change it in the game but okay these are destroyed so let's hit play I oh, know I'm gonna pause just just for a second here let's go to stockpiles so I'm gonna explain what's all around you so first of all you have these these is for your this is for your production but that's for the future this is for your uh, building of walls and utilities furniture such things but that's for later too Let's first focus on this. If you press this, the the, the buttons stay up. All right. So we have harvest, we have chopping, we have cutting, we have digging, we have mining, and we have tilling. These are basic tools for uh, uh, handling the map and doing stuff. Next, we have stockpiles and zoning. Stockpiles we use in the beginning uh, instead of containers because we can't make a lot of containers in the beginning and it's easy easier with raw material uh, stockpiles. So we're going to set up a nice raw material stockpile. So we do this here. So here is this button. All right. And we're going to right click it. I'm going to manage stockpile. We're going to materials and we're going to enable wood. That's the reason we had to disable this from the beginning, or uh, otherwise all of these would be enabled. And you should click all of these or disable all, and then then you can enable stone. But it's easier when it's auto. So enable uh, enable wood, and we're gonna make oh, we're just gonna enable stone right here too, to save us some space. So that's good, and I'm. Um, thinking I'm gonna gonna delete this I'm gonna place it a little further I'm gonna destroy these yellow flowers you can use them in uh, you can use them later uh, for coloring but we don't need them right now so let's make our stockpile here right click manage stockpile and enable wood and enable stone right here okay so we're gonna we're gonna mine this as well 
and we're gonna because we need a lot of stone in the beginning the reason I need stone is to make weapons because if you wanna wanna have all your resources with you you're gonna have to let your people go out on the map and you have frog people and toadies and monsters who all will kill your mouse and your people and you don't want that you want to keep your 11 at least in the beginning so good we can hit play and these people they should know what to do so we're gonna mine this we're gonna mine this oh it's gonna be awesome all right so you see they are they are already start finding this tree keeper this nevil tree it's gonna kill your people if you don't watch out but they won oh no somebody like actually already died damn <sighs> come on where is she where's the body where's your body helen i where, where? I, I can't follow what the hell nice tutorial this is jesus uh all right i can't seem to find her remains but let's make a grave from the beginning so we go to decorative uh, decorative then outdoor and here we have some graves uh, I know we need a mason's bench damn it <sighs> why did she have to die from the beginning crap okay that sucks but not to worry we can fix this so we're gonna start building our carpentry and we do this with zoning Zoning, carpentry, the first button is probably all, the most important in the beginning. So you can, you want to have this. I like 7x4. So my door is in the middle and I have enough room. Okay, but first, before I forget anything, because I don't see a lot of apple trees around here. So let's start by getting our fruit production in order. Cause I think this is going to be a problem. Normally I don't do this right off the bat. I first make some make some weapons. I'm still going to make those those weapons first, but I'm going to want to make my my food production okay too. And I've noticed my mouse has stopped. So I'll be right back in a second. So all right, that's working again. So where are we? Yes. Uh, these people need food. I just made this fruit uh, container and I'm just gonna enable all and let them harvest these fruits. So they're gonna have something to eat. In the meanwhile, I'm going to build some utilities and go to the carpenter's bench. So the carpenter's bench is right here you want to put this there so again utilities carpenter's bench and they're probably already making it so it's very important in the beginning else you're nothing you're gonna build nothing uh, when when that's done you're gonna go to utilities you're gonna build the wood detailer you're gonna build this right here now I want to tell you just build one I saw a lot of people build five six of these but you don't want if you're building walls you don't wood walls in particularly you don't want all of your people going going to build walls because you're gonna to want to have food production too so if you have the if you have more possibilities like more carpenters benches like five five of your people are going to make wooden walls and you don't want that okay next let's build some weapons stone weapons stone hammer and let's make 11 uh, 10 because we lost already some uh, we lost someone already all right so they're off making that shouldn't take that long and these other people can start with the bakery all right 
So the bakery is right here. And we're gonna build this right here. All right, that's the problem. Uh, I want this deleted. Destroy a stockpile, doesn't matter anyway. And let's expand this bakery to the size I want it. So seven by four, okay. And let's now till the land behind it. So we're gonna do this. All right, and we're gonna do another right next to it. Because you wanna have some fruit trees and wheat, wheat production. So you can make your pies right here. And it should just take five seconds to make one pie. And that's what makes, e what makes it easy, this situation. I have my own setup, I know, but it's a logical setup and everybody works uh, decent. So, okay, I wanna harvest some wheat. I wanna harvest this one. And these. Okay. Normally these people already have weapons when I do this because you know those froggies, those toadies, they just want to kill you. They're gonna do nothing else but trying to kill you. That's their main objective. <laughs> Alright, so let's make this a bit of wheat and let's harvest some of these trees because we need apples to plant. So you want to harvest and you want to do this. You want to harvest these two. All right, super, 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 super. We're going, we're doing good. It's a nice start. We have a lot of things. We're going to start our fruit production. So they, they have food constantly and we don't have to worry about them because it's the food that does it mostly. If you don't have food, your people die. Simple as that. All right. Oh, and don't start with pig production in the beginning because if you don't fence it off, you're gonna have a rare pig and stuff and that's gonna kill a lot of people as well. Especially if, if they don't have any weapons. That's why in the beginning, make some hammers I know I, I had I had a little bit too much chores, so these people aren't making them immediately, but they're gonna and uh, they're gonna be happy they have them. You can assure of that. Okay, so these are planted, just three more pairs, but they're on it. So we're doing pretty good, I guess. Uh, let's set up something else right here, the masonry. That's a basic utility too. So three, three, yeah, seven. All right, that's good. Especially because there's some stone here, and if we dig down, we'll find more. Especially stone isn't a big problem when you go to the dungeons. In the dungeons, you have tons, but tons of stone. You can't imagine. You'll literally have too much stone. In the beginning, you have too less. And in the ending, you have too much. Come on, people, let's make some, let's make some hammers. Um, what are they doing? Maybe harvest some more wheat. I don't know. Gas nut. No gas nut. So I want to keep these people here, but I can give them another chore. I'm gonna make them plow this. All right, these people should, yes, okay, where are those other people? Oh, they're gathering the fruit. That's why I want them to have hammers in the beginning, because these people run into their own debt, literally. So how many weapons do we already have? We have seven, so there still have has to be built three. That's not a big job, but of course, or do the sleeping, you won't make them anymore. And when this field is ready, they're gonna start producing their goods. Oh yeah, before I forgot it, 
this is important but I don't use it as much because when my production is at this point that it's good you don't need this at all so you this is the if they they haven't enough uh, food they're gonna bake first uh, you see it's a, a a line of order but if you set things up right like my way you you'll be good so you just want to get this fixed up first so it's nice and clean and you have everything you need ri right around you so I'm gonna make some more apple trees destroy those flowers because they're in the way another apple tree right here oh, sorry yep. and let's make some more pear trees right here so you don't want to uh, use all your fruit in one time because people gotta eat normally they're still half full but I won't count on it too alright so this is growing I'm gonna harvest this as well and I'm gonna plant some more right here BAM okay so these people know what to do the moment they have wheat they're gonna plant it that's the most important thing that's why I just don't start baking it already because you wanna set it up first that's more important than else you're gonna keep keep uh, keep struggling and it won't it won't work so okay let's equip all these epike epike the third fourth fifth sixth uh, sixth seventh all right let's get let's let these people have their weapons first before i click any further all right so i want to have you have this one you this one and you the last one okay everyone is everyone is uh how how do you call it everyone is armed to the teeth with wooden hammers it's good so let's plant some trees yes that's why we are here plant some fucking trees okay so pine trees you want three rows maybe four you you have to decide how many trees you like uh, I, sp I don't need that much uh, maybe if I'm gonna produce uh, wood for for wooden walls okay uh, I'll have it bigger but if you want to have stone walls you don't need that much this is more than enough for uh, your basic uh, wood production you can always make it bigger those little those little bushes will come back and you can plant more and it's all good but this is a, a strong basic setup you'll have a lot of wood and you'll be happy all right that's good so the sweet is busy let's harvest this okay now i want to make a container i want to make two containers and i want to make a mason's bench uh, that's right here and that should be all for this first episode this is the first five minutes of your game uh, how to survive it and how to get a decent decent production from the beginning so it's all nice and tidy these people gonna make this oh they made the mason's bench first okay so this one is making the barrel i guess all right the first barrel in my little tutorial I want to go right click it manage container go to materials and you want to hit wood in this one and this one to manage container materials and wood all right I'm gonna make two more epike and I'm gonna do the same for stone so all of the stone would be placed right in here and I don't have to worry about anything so 
let's just wait for a second and uh I don't have any wood any I don't have wood anymore. I guess this has to wait for another time. Why won't they they chop these? Okay. Nice. Okay. So we're supposed to be making oh we need three woods for one. Wow. Don't worry, be happy. It's just a barrel and we'll have a lot of wood in the future. Look, our first pine tree has come to the ground. I'm so happy right now. And our second barrel is ready too. So materials, you want stone and you want to do this for the next one too. Alright, superb. So we have our basic setup. We have everything we need. We can survive. I'm gonna harvest these trees so these people survive a little longer and okay this is my first uh, episode of this tutorial uh, next time we're gonna start by using this uh, our production line so we can start having food forever and that's gonna happen when this wheat field is full so I'm gonna harvest these two just in case that I don't forget it I'm just gonna place it full because they're just gonna plant it whenever they they get their hands on it that's a bug that's been fixed apparently because in, in the previous version they still just uh, go searching for wild wheat while you planted it and now they just plant it whenever it's available so that's great that's all superb and I'm gonna leave it at that. So uh, I hope you had fun. And uh, oh, if you have any problems with this game or have any suggestions, just leave a comment below. Uh, that way I can make this better for you. And uh, okay, anyway, thanks for watching and uh, see you next time. Bye bye.